Have you ever considered the hidden impact of pornography on your sexual health? It's not a question we ask ourselves often, is it? Yet, it's a conversation we need to have. A growing body of research suggests that frequent consumption of pornography is linked to an unsettling reality, an increasing rate of erectile dysfunction among young men. In a world where access to explicit content is just a click away, we're seeing an alarming trend. More and more men under the age of 40 are reporting issues with sexual performance. And strangely enough, these are the same men who are consuming high levels of pornographic content. Esteemed medical experts are beginning to connect the dots, drawing a line between the virtual world of pornography and real-world sexual health issues. The data is painting a picture that we cannot ignore. So the question arises, can watching porn really lead to erectile dysfunction? To understand the connection, we need to delve into the science of arousal and sexual function. Human sexual response is a complex interaction of physiological processes, emotions, and neurological pathways. At the heart of this intricate web is dopamine, a neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in our feelings of pleasure and reward. When we engage in activities that we find enjoyable or satisfying, our brain releases dopamine, creating a sense of gratification. Now let's talk about pornography. The adult industry, with its limitless variety and ever-present availability, has the ability to flood our brains with dopamine. Each click, each new video sends a surge of this pleasure chemical coursing through our systems. And while this might sound like a good thing, it's precisely where the problem begins. Much like how drug users develop a tolerance to the substances they abuse, frequent porn users can develop a tolerance to the dopamine high. This phenomenon, known as desensitization, results in the need for more and more stimulation to achieve the same level of pleasure. It's a vicious cycle that can lead to addiction. But how does this all connect to erectile dysfunction, you ask? The answer lies in the principle of use it or lose it. When the brain is consistently exposed to high levels of stimulation, it adjusts by reducing its response. This means that over time the brain becomes less sensitive to sexual stimuli, leading to difficulties in achieving and maintaining an erection. Drawing parallels with other addictive behaviors, this process is similar to how alcoholics need more drinks to feel the same buzz, or how smokers require more cigarettes to satisfy their cravings. It's a trap that's easy to fall into, but much harder to escape. As we have seen, our brains weren't designed to handle the high stimulation levels that internet porn provides, leading to a decrease in sensitivity and responsiveness. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that incognito tab, remember, moderation is key. The science is compelling, but what does this mean in real-world terms? Let's delve into the experiences of a few individuals who have faced sexual performance issues due to excessive to excessive pornography use. To begin with, consider the story of John, a man in his mid-30s. He initiated his journey into pornography during his teen years, viewing it as innocent fun. Fast forward to today, five years into his marital life, his relationship is on the rocks. What's the reason behind it? Erectile dysfunction. John cannot comprehend why his body is betraying him. Despite being young, fit, and deeply in love with his wife, his constant exposure to pornography has disrupted his brain's response to genuine intimacy. Another story is that of Mike, a triumphant corporate lawyer who took pride in his ability to thrive under pressure, both professionally and personally. Recently, he's been struggling with maintaining an erection. He feels embarrassed, baffled, and scared. Pornography has been his main stress reliever, but he never thought it would lead to this situation. Lastly, we have Sam, a university student who has been exposed to pornography since he was 13. His first sexual encounter was a disaster. Unable to maintain an erection, he was terrified. Sam's situation is particularly impactful as he represents a generation of young men who have unregulated access to explicit content, unaware of how it could potentially affect their sexual health. These narratives are merely a fraction of the countless men suffering in silence, with their self-worth and relationships taking the hit. Their stories illuminate the emotional and psychological burden that erectile dysfunction, instigated by intense pornography use, can impose. It's more than just a physical problem, it's a mental and emotional battle that leaves men feeling inadequate and alone. The, the stories of John, Mike, and Sam are not isolated cases. They are part of a growing trend. 
a silent epidemic affecting men from all walks of life. They humanize the statistics we've discussed, showing the real-life repercussions of a digital age phenomenon. These are not isolated occurrences, but a growing trend that necessitates immediate attention. The situation may seem bleak, but there is a silver lining. Yes, the journey towards recovery may appear daunting, yet it's filled with hope and potential. Our brain, a marvel of nature, has the remarkable ability to reboot and heal itself. This phenomenon, known as neuroplasticity, allows our brain to rewire and modify its connections. What does this mean for you? Well, it means that the harmful effects of porn on your brain aren't necessarily permanent. Given time, patience, and the right strategies, you can guide your brain back to its healthy state. So, what are these strategies? Let's delve into a few. One of the most effective strategies is therapy. Speaking to a professional can provide you with tools to combat your addiction, help you understand the root cause of your issue, and guide you towards a healthier relationship with sex. Support groups also play an invaluable role. Connecting with others who are facing the same challenges can provide a sense of community and understanding. It's an opportunity to share experiences, learn from others, and realize you're not alone in this journey. Lifestyle changes are equally important. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep can work wonders for your mental and physical health. Mindfulness practices like meditation can also help you regain control over your mind, reducing the urge to revert to old habits. Lastly, let's not forget the crucial role of sexual health education. Understanding your body, its needs, and how to maintain its health is vital. Knowledge, after all, is power. Each of these strategies contributes to a comprehensive approach to recovery. They're not quick fixes, and the journey won't be easy. It will require determination, commitment, and patience. But remember, every step you take towards recovery is a step away from the negative impacts of porn. Remember, it's never too late to reclaim control over your sexual health and overall well-being. Your road to recovery starts now. You have the power to break free and create a healthier, happier future.